hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss another important topic in dynamics 365 customer service so in dynamics 365 customer service we have a topic called as automatic record creation most of the times when we receive any email activity or we receive any phone calls for a customer service queries whether it may be an issue or it may be a problem sometimes we need an automation in that scenario so that as soon as we get that email triggered to the customer service representative email box or a shared email box we want to create a case record automatically so in this video we'll discuss how to configure that conditions and how the automation is achieved we'll discuss so first of all you should have a uh, customer service hub application with you and in the customer service hub application we have to first configure a queue so let me go to the customer service hub and navigate to the customer service admin center in customer service admin center you'll find a section called as queue click on the queues from the sitemap in the queue you'll find the options like advanced queue basic queue and routing dialogues you can also navigate to this queue from customer service hub if you go to customer service hub as a global administrator you can see the queue option let me navigate to the queue here i have created some queues right if i'll go to the all of them i can see the option here right so let me create a new queue here click on queues here if you don't find the new option directly navigate to the customer admin center and create a queue I'll go to here in the queue and click on a basic queue click on manage here you will find a different list of queues already available in the system I want to create a new queue most of the times the automatic record creation is dependent on a queue so let me give a name of the queue let's say priority queue so I want to make it private queue so that I can uh, define that uh, how many members will be part of this queue and I want to add this mailbox as an incoming email, email box for this queue if you do not have a mailbox already it will create a new mailbox for you when you save this queue so click on save before that you need to understand the email settings do you want to convert all the email incoming email activities to consider for this record creation or you want to filter if you choose email messages in response to dynamics 365 email the automatic record creation configuration will only consider the emails that has been replied or responded back uh, against a dynamics 365 email so for now let me consider all email and click on save by default the mailbox is blank at the initial stage now if you click on save it will create a mailbox for this queue you see this is the mailbox that is created whose name is priority priority queue and the member is already added here as i am the owner of this queue right the next thing is you have to approve the mailbox so click on the approve email and click ok next you have to go to the mailbox that has been created if you are not a system administrator you can you cannot navigate here you have to go to the advanced settings and from this advanced settings you can navigate to the email configuration and enable the mailbox find out the mailboxes using mailboxes link let me search priority mailbox and this is the mailbox that has been created because of my queue and this email id is configured for this queue so i can click on this mailbox and click on test and enable mailbox but before that approve the email as a global administrator once you approve 
you can now click on test and enable mailbox now after you click on test and enable box enable mailbox it will take some couple of seconds and the incoming email will be success and outgoing email will be success once it will be success you will see that the email is in outlook email is integrated integrated with the uh, mailbox for this queue next important thing is once the mailbox is configured you have to create a record creation and update rule you can click on this option and click on add new record creation here you can provide the information let's say i want to define some rule for a specific customer for automatic creation of the records so i can define here say rule for audio and here i can choose the queue to monitor which queue you want to monitor for automatic record creation you can define the queue here from this lookup here you can define what is the activity type you want to monitor you may monitor phone calls you may monitor emails appointments conversations so one of this task or one of this activity you can monitor so right now i am monitoring emails so i have defined email and save it once you initially save the record you will find step two in the step two the conditions you have to define which will evaluate the action to take so click on new and define the condition So my condition is when the sender of this email is a specific customer right so here i want to define the condition so give a condition let's say audio email sender here i want to define the row and define if the sender email If the sender of the email is equal to the customer Claudia right now meaning is that whenever the email is received from this customer Claudia Magenti then it will automatically create a case in the system by taking help of this information from the activity in the second what action it you want to take or what the action the uh, operation will take automatically it will rec create a case record you can choose other entity also if you want to create other entity records also you can select here but primarily we focus on case so we select today's case now click on save now there is a power automate running in background which will actually take action to create a case record so click on this save and open power automate which will open in open a out of the box power automate which is called in background whenever a condition is met in the automatic record creation and updation here you can click on continue you do not need to change anything from here in this flow but if you need to add any extra logic in this action steps you can add notes and proceed further now click on save and test so how to test let's say i want to send an email from the customer so what is the customer email so let me check what is the customer email let me close this so you have to first activate this rule otherwise it will not work so that you can test now we have activated this rule if you want to have some advanced settings also you can directly navigate to the advanced tab and in the advanced tab you can define some more configurations but first let us test this if it is working fine let me check what is the email id of the customer so let me go to the customer so i can navigate to the customer service uh, hub 
in the customer service hub you will find customer information so this is the contact so this is the contact Claudia and this is the mailbox now I want to send an email to the queue mailbox from this email box so that I can test if a new record is created or not so let me go to the gmail of the customer and I want to send an email so let me click on new and choose the email id this is the email id of the mailbox which is associated with the queue pressing is with the laptop so this is a sample subject and this is the body the sample email and click on save and send when i'm sending this email this email will be tracked against this dynamics 365 record right so let us wait if we are receiving the email or not till now we have not received the email now we have received this email this is the email from this customer and this is the message so once it is received it is automatically tracked into dynamics okay if you want the email will be automatically tracked in your dynamics you have to enable the mailbox and once it is tracked i can find out this email against the rule so let me go to the rule here so this is the power automate that has been activated if i'll go back i can test what is the run history of this power automate you see now this power automate took action before 28 seconds to create a automatic record sales record in the meantime we can also check activity monitor here it will also display what is the current status and how it is processed for a email input now if i'll go to the case i'm expecting there is a case available for this customer so let me go to the customer service hub and here i will go to the cases and this is the case that has been created for the customer so let me go to the case now this is the case that has been created facing issue with laptop and this case is automatically created through the rule when an email is uh, reached to our queue inbox so not necessarily the agent will manually do some interaction also the email is uh, tracked against this case so that the agent will take proper action okay i hope you understand how it works how you can configure automatic record automatic record creation and updation see you next time bye everyone